morning dudes well the uh, ports are packed the boat's been um, ready to leave uh, everything set up so that I can leave it I'm heading off for a month uh, I'm jumping on the ferry here from uh, Magnetic Island and uh, ferry across the Townsville and then on the train I'm going to catch the train down to Mooloola Bar and pick up uh, a sailing mate's car and drive that down to Lakes Entrance. So that gets me down into Victoria and then I'll catch a train from there probably uh, down to Pakenham and I'm going to spend three weeks with the kids and the grandkids down there so that's what's uh, going to be really good. Um, I've just got my fingers crossed that uh, the borders open up on the 17th of um, December and that that doesn't change because uh, the most worry I've got is uh, that the borders are going to close and I'm not going to be able to get back up here to the boat. It'd be pretty tragic. But anyway, uh, we'll just hope that the uh, Premier stands by a word and leaves the borders open and I can get back up here uh, just after Christmas. I'll do a few little vids uh, on the trip down and um, while I'm down there and keep you updated on what's going on. And uh, yeah come along for the train ride. Uh, first up, 20 minute trip from Kelly Bay to uh, Townville. Cowboys Club. I'm now a member. A uh, bit of lunch and then we'll wander up to the train station and catch the train south. <laughs> this is uh, Graham and Chi and they're graciously putting me up tonight. I've had a big trip on the train uh, last night, didn't sleep at all. So I'm going to stay with Graham and Chi tonight. They're uh, buddies that I've met down the track and I'll stay here tonight and let's go and have a look at the vehicle I'm taking down to Lakes Entrance. So this is uh, Pete's car. He's um, at Bermagui, I think at the moment, on his way to Lakes and I'm going to drive this... Uh, down the uh, coast to Lakes Entrance and hopefully catch up with him later in the week. So the train trip was uh, forgettable. <laughs> uh, we were an hour late by the time we got to uh, Nambour and um, yeah it was uh, wanted to sleep all night and just couldn't. Spent a lot of time in the club car drinking tea and uh, chatting with people. Just couldn't seem to get to sleep so a pretty long trip. But uh, I'm down in Mooloolabar now picked up the car and we'll get on the road and um, head down south. Well I've uh, 
jumped across the border, so I'm stuck in New South Wales now. Um, it's a designated uh, hotspot down here, and I can't get back until the 17th of December. Fingers crossed. So... Well, uh, I made it to Coffs Harbour, but we've got an engine light on in the vehicle, and uh, he's a bit down on power, so I've dropped into uh, Bell Bowie Motors in Coffs. And they're going to endeavour to have a look at flat out, of course, before Christmas. But they're going to endeavour to have a look at it and uh, maybe fix it or maybe let me know what's going wrong. So I uh, brought the vehicle to the workshop. Now, this is uh, a common rail diesel, all electronically controlled. This is one reason I don't like them on boats. Something goes wrong and uh, I can't even start to look at it because you really need a computer before you do anything. So uh, anyway, I brought the car here and um, they're going to fault find it and uh, see what's going on. I, I sort of think it might be a turbo problem, but um, we'll get them to have a look at it and hopefully I'm on my way pretty soon. Best laid plans of mice and men sometimes go up the shit. Well, good news. Uh, Thanks to the boys at uh, Bell Bowery Motors, Daryl especially, he fitted the car in and uh, got a Mako to look at it and it's nothing too serious, just uh, a loose pipe on the turbo apparently. So that should get us back on the road. Great. Well, back on the road again and uh, it's like a new car. <laughs> Definitely got a lot more power with uh, what, what had happened. A hose had blown off the uh, the turbo somewhere, and um, yeah, it was way down on power. So um, with it fixed up, uh, it really is uh, quite a, an impressive unit. So it's great. It feels better having everything going right. And the other bonus is the cruise control is working in now. Uh, the hose off must have affected the vacuum, and the cruise control wasn't working. So. We've got cruise control back, so we just got it set for 110 on this road, and um, off we go. Uh, probably get to about Newcastle, I think, this afternoon. Getting a little bit tired now, so I'll do another couple of hours, and um, we'll get to Newcastle and uh, pull up for the night, and maybe get going early in the morning and uh, get through Sydney and uh, down the, the south coast of New South Wales. But anyway, good to have the vehicle going back like it should be. The North Link Tunnel is 10 k's long. It takes us all the way under Sydney and brings us out on the Hume Highway on the way to Wollongong. At Shell Harbour, I grab my motel for the night. 